the beginnings of Marg magazine are closely linked with the birth of free India. Marg's founder editor Mulkraj Anand and a group of visionaries in Bombay started Marg, a quarterly journal dedicated to architecture and art. Right from its inception in 1946, Marg has featured writings by influential voices from around the world and has been an exemplary trailblazing magazine in the Indian cultural space. I believe that what Marg has done during the last 75 years is outstanding work. In the last 20 years, I have been a regular reader and occasional contributor uh, to what is unquestionably the greatest magazine of Indian art. Marg, I think I had started reading from the age of 15 perhaps, and I recall an interest being built in the heritage of India not only the constructed heritage of India, but of course in the living heritage of India to a great extent. This is what has made Marg iconic. Its design aiding not only the simplification, but also appreciation of complex didactic information and thereby broadening the appeal of specialist content to a wider, diverse audience. Marg's illustrations and articles were fabulous insights into Indian art, architecture, design and creativity as I grew up. Today, Marg is India's oldest art magazine and with over 3,000 articles, endures as an excellent archive of the country, its past, present and future. As we enter our 75th year, we bring together friends from different disciplines to share the inspiration they have drawn from Marg's pages over the decades. The dance issues were such seminal documents of the rediscovery of Indian classical dance, which actually went hand in hand with um, the development of Indian modernism. And these dance forms were for the first time coming into the urban circuit in India, and Marg had a, had a critical role in presenting and interpreting them. Marg remains in continuous publication because of the support of those who believe in the potential of the arts. Mark is a paradigm for the best of India. Its beauty, its art, its people, the incredible range and variety, its eclectic and yet absolutely unique nature. It's never impossibly uh, academic. The language is always accessible and yet it's highly scholarly, uh, highly accurate. It's stuff you can really rely on. Extremely compelling and a motivator for me. Well, some of the early volumes of Marg also presented to us exhibition history. That really created a timeline for my future work within lens-based media. For anyone interested in Indian design, these are the pages you must look at. The perfect marriage of form and content. The graphic language of the magazine also characterized a particularly Indian idiom. The great thing about Marg is uh, it still continues and I'm very happy that it is going to have a broader and expanded presence in the new internet world and hopefully will reach a younger audience. I would insist and request all the people and friends that they should subscribe to Mark and support Mark. And I really couldn't recommend a better way of learning about Indian art than to subscribe to Mark and read it week after week, month after month. You'll learn as much as you possibly can. It's a fantastic magazine. Long may it continue and thrive. Well done, Mark.